Today I'm going to show you guys how to build and permit this barrel composting toilet in the state of Arizona for free. I was looking over the plans for the barrel composter and they use two two inch 90 degree elbows for vents that come out the side. So imagine, <clears throat> imagine this one foot square roughly was the top of the toilet you'd have these vents coming out like so and then they have a three inch T this however is a two inch which I have these these are all just scrap pieces of material I picked up uh, when people were you know selling me their scrap or or giving me some scrap so they used a three inch T because it, you, it worked well with the two liter bottle trap they used just to give you an idea, it'd be kind of like cutting this off and going up into the larger jar. In my case, I have this piece of, it's a connector PVC, and then I've got a fitting inside of it. I can glue this into this PVC and glue around where the lid connects and also to this PVC. I can glue this one into that. And then I do have a Pepto-Bismol cup, and I figure I can just cut a small hole in here even smaller if I want to than that. It'll make it more difficult for the flies to get out. And then the, the jar can just screw in on top like this. So this will be sitting into the toilet and I'll have the fly trap and the vents. I just need to get some screen over these with some hose clamps. And <clears throat> I have this foam that is used for installing an air conditioning unit. I can cut this down it's meant to be pulled apart and I can use that for my foam gasket. So I've got a lot of the scrap material and I'll, I'll start piecing things together. I just used the lid from my bucket toilet seat to trace out a nice hole for the toilet and I traced the pipe for holes on the lid. To keep the bugs out, I slid fittings inside of the PVC to hold netting in place so they can't get in or out. No matter what county you're in in Arizona, you can contact them and get instructions on how to do this but I'm simply using scrap materials because I love to be as frugal as possible. I didn't have any hose clamps, so I used Gorilla Glue and PVC fittings to pinch everything together and hold it in place. You can use a standard toilet lid if you want and use gaskets to seal it, or you can use a heavy piece of tile or something like that. So I removed the hole from the toilet and wound up using Gorilla Glue to glue it to the bottom of a heavy piece of tile to hold everything in place and when I drop it into the hole, no bugs can get in or out. What date should I set for time travel? I've got my flux capacitor ready and uh, well, I just need a barrel. Because the parts underneath the jar would show, I thought it might be fun to paint it hot rod red. Okay, and he digged the hole. Good, you just gotta really get in there, Annie. A couple more inches. <laughs> I'm going to use bungee cords to hold the lid down to seal the gasket and keep bugs out. I was able to super glue one piece at a time of my foam gasket all the way around the lid and it just really makes a great seal. The top of the barrels need to be no more than 16 inches and no less than 12 inches above ground. You guys having a spa day? Some little mud facials I see you got going on there? I put in another barrel for a waterer for the pigs over here so I don't have to fill that up six times a day. And look, Bonnie. <laughs> Bonnie's been making herself a little mud hole over here. This morning we've been working on painting the barrels for the composting toilet system. I have everything ready to go pretty much, just putting paint on it. And they're going to come inspect it tomorrow.
If you'd like to support more content like this, check out my website for books that I've written and products I've created.